In this one, we're going to be talking about the Retrieve API view, which is not a whole lot different than the List API view, but instead of getting a query set, it's going to get a single object. Um, but it still works very, very similar to the List API view. In fact, a lot of these API views, the generic API views, work very similar. Um, that's a big advantage to class-based views in general. Um, so anyways, what we want to do is we're going to import the Retrieve API view, and then we're going to set a lookup field as well as a lookup URL keyword arg. Um, so that's what we're going to be going to eventually. At first, we are just going to set up the Retrieve API view. So let's go ahead and jump into our views for the API, and we're going to do Retrieve API view. And then we'll just come down here and say class post. You could say post detail. I'm going to call it post detail API view. Um, I don't think retrieve is the right word. I think it should be detail, but they call it retrieve. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. It does go along with crud a little bit better, calling it retrieve versus calling it um, detail. But I, I like calling it uh, post detail. And it does fit with our other views as well. So we'll do query set, of course, is post. Um, dot objects dot all and then we do a serializer class equals to post serializer okay so this is the base of what you need you absolutely need this stuff so we're going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to import it into our urls for the api and just import it in here and then much like what we did before with the detail view i'm going to uncomment this out and go ahead and do post detail instead dot as view. And then instead of slug here, I'm gonna put a primary key. And then we are just gonna put a digit here. So slash D plus. So this is the regular expression for getting a primary key for D plus. We'll explain how to change this in just a moment. Um, but anyway, so we got this post detail API view as view. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, we have posts, and I'm just going to grab one of these IDs, and one get in the, the last one, we're going to do three. And this is it. So we've got that post detail API. Very, very simple, right? So what if we wanted to change this to being slug like we did with all of our other posts? Well, of course, we could use the exact same regular expression. So I can copy that and paste it here, and then save it. And if I refresh in here, now it's saying that this URL keyword argue must be named PK. Um, right, so it should be named primary key. So let's name it primary key and refresh in here. And it is working, right? Because technically three as a number is still a slug. It does fit into this regular expression itself, um, but it is not the keyword that we actually want to look up. Instead, let's change three to yeah, buddy, and go in there and it'll say detail not found. The reason it's actually not found is because the lookup field defaults to the primary key. And the primary key, of course, is the ID. So going back into our view, we can change this lookup field. So we'll say lookup field equals to slug. So if I change that and refresh, um, we've got, it must be called with the URL argument slug, not slug as it is here, because we just called it PK. But let's change it to ABC, and then go back into our view, and we'll say lookup field keyword arg, k-w-a-r-g, and we'll say abc. We refresh in here, and we wanna make sure it's it's lookup URL, excuse me, not lookup field, but lookup URL, keyword argument, refresh in here, and now it does it, right? So we just changed the keyword argument. Realistically, we wouldn't change the keyword, ar keyword argument, and we would just leave it as slug, and we would have this as slug too. Just wanted to show you that there is some difference there. Cool. Um, so that is now our post detail API view. Um, that's really all we need. Um, we don't have to do much more than this unless we were starting to add additional things to this post detail. Now those additional things would be done inside of the serializer. So I want to actually add a new serializer here and I'm going to call it post detail serializer just in case if I want my detail view to have a slightly different look than my list view. So I'm going to call this one post list serializer. Um, they are going to be slightly different at the end of the day. Um, like for example, one of them might not even have the ID show up. Instead, it might have a URL or something like that, um, which is not something we'll do quite yet, but I will add and change our views to have the correct serializers. 
So the post detail serializer and the post list serializer, change those. I'm also gonna change the ordering to be alphabetical. This is not something you have to do, but it is nice to do um, for other developers. Okay, so if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.